Well, that did not take long at all. Fish on. Fish on. Nice fish too. Oh, that feels like a good snapper. Feels like a really nice snapper. That's always a good start. First rod down, absolutely slammed. And that is how I enjoy starting my videos. This guy's a fair way off. Plenty of time to start the episode, I reckon. So, welcome to another Sammy Hitsky fishing adventure, guys. I've been waiting a long time for the weather to come good. It finally has. So I thought I'd take full advantage of it and get out and have a bit of a jig. First rod down, the catchy catchy. In the rod holder, slammed. As I was letting the jig down, game on. Now I don't need a heap of fish today, but I will take a couple for a feed. And I have a feeling this guy is going to be a nice snapper. Now I really should mention, I am testing out a bit of a theory as well. Not on the catchy catchy, I know that works, but on the jigs. I've actually customised something up myself. I had a bit of inspiration from, from a video I saw on the internet. I thought, I reckon that'll work. So... I've rigged a few things up and well it hasn't worked at the moment I'm not working it per se but this guy should be very close but all will be revealed so guys before this fish hits the surface hope you guys enjoy the episode it's going to be a cracker there's a beautiful snapper to start the show that's a lovely fish ah, beautiful leading size But a bloody good start to the day. I do love a first cast fish. It really does take the pressure off. That's a nice one. He'd be 65 centimeters. Beautiful, squirry snapper. Great eating size. Put up a great fight too. This guy went roaring off once he hit it. Thanks for joining us once again. Let's get stuck into a few. Have a go, man. Of course guys, keeping fish for the table, brain spike and bleed them straight away. Get all that blood out. It's the most humane and in my opinion the best way to look after your fish that you're keeping for the table. Oh no, we better get that catchy back down. He got the first fish. And jigs away. Oh, jigs on the bottom. Right oh. Check the old drag. Let's see how we go. Oh, that was a hit. There we go, catchy's on. Catchy's on. Well, catchy saving the drift. Might be a old subtle presentation day. This guy just feels like a little squirry snap. Possibly a pearly. Saw it get bopped. And then load it up, came back for it again. I think this guy will just be a little panty. Pretty quiet old drift, that one though. No hits on the jig. Only the one bop on the old um, catchy. I must admit, I did bring some pillies out. If it, uh, if it goes quiet, I'll be doing the old floaty, floaty, pilly, pilly. 
we all know how effective that was in one of my previous videos. There he is. Turn into a big pearly. Little squire. Ow! Ow! Everyone remember they have spikes. He would be a uh, an eater, but I'll, um, I reckon we can do a little bit better than that, so there you go. You can go straight back. See you, mate. Get down there. Rightio. Lining up for drift three. Now, guys, I've fielded a stack of questions over the last couple of weeks about the new Yami and how it was compared to the Suzuki and all that sort of stuff. I will be addressing that as I get to know the motor more. Please keep in mind, I've only, this is only my second trip with it now, so I'm uh, still running the motor in, still getting the feel for it, but so far, very, very impressed. Fuel economy is looking on par, if not a little bit better. We have a different prop on this motor to to what I had on the Suzuki, so that needs to be taken into account. Um, very, very good, happy with the performance, getting a lot higher top speed, 5Ks difference, um, and uh, better hole shot. So a few things that don't really make sense in terms of, terms of performance. Usually a better hole shot means less top end, but I've got a bit of both. So still working out how that works, but so far so good, very happy with it. Be even more happy if we can get a big double hook up on uh, big pinkies on this drift. I'd, I'd cop a big pearly actually, I haven't caught a big pearly in a while. Oh, catchy, how? Oh, he's missed it. Catchy, he's missed one. That was a solid bop too. Catchy just got slammed. All right, Catchy's, Catchy's down. Catchy got the early hit last drift, and then we didn't get another touch. Need to capitalize on those ones. Still no love for the jig either. So, they're not tuned into jigs today. There's no point persisting and Missing opportunities. I shall change to my secret pilly rig. Got him. Well, about time. Jesus, taking a while to get a uh, hit on the jig. I was just thinking then I should um change for a pilly. Doesn't feel like a big fish but it's on the jig. I might even still change the pilly. Just don't wanna waste this dawn period. Make the most of it. Put some hooks in and then uh, worry about the rest from there. Maybe a pearly. He's doing the old, oh, I'm heavy. Now usually how this goes is while I'm fighting this fish, Catchy Catchy will keel over, start screaming off, we'll have ourselves a cheeky little double. But it's actually been a, a fairly quiet old morning. It is making a little bit difficult to fish with this wind. The wind and current are going different directions, so it always makes it fun, but no excuses. There he is, there's a bit of colour. Well, ladies and gentlemen, have I got something to show you. <laughs> Check this out. Pearly number one and pearly number two. And this be the sneaky little rig that I was talking about. Oh, well, that pearly's just come off. So what I've got is my wingman here and then off a bit of leader I have. Well, this one's the head of a catchy, the end of a catchy, but I had another one that I customed up. I think it might have been just a little bit too big. 
Now, my plan wasn't to catch two at a time, but I will definitely take that. It was to um, have a smaller presentation. So a small, subtle presentation like this, wafting around with this guy, the wingman, making all the commotion. Now, I saw a couple of videos, and I was sent a few on uh, Instagram, and for the life of me, I can't remember who sent it, so... You know who you are, and I appreciate you sending those videos through. They had something similar, and they were using it in Japan. Very effective. So I thought, hey, give it a crack. This is the first time I'm testing it out. Obviously, it's not firing today. is isn't going off like a bag of prawns in the sun, but that's the first little success we've had on it. Unfortunately, both of these pearlies are undersized, so we'll get them back. See you later, mate. There you go. That's what it looks like. Let's see if we can get some fish on it. Now, I've just changed spots. Uh, that other one was going pretty quiet, so I thought, have a quick move and see if I can find a bit more life. So this is my first drift on a, uh, on a new mark. Oh, okay. Okay, well that's a good start. Good fish. Very nice fish. Let that jig get down into the zone. This is a really nice fish. Still going. A few big head nods there. This might be big Mr. Snappy Tom. If I can just keep him away from the jig rod, I probably shouldn't have free spilled that back down, but oh well. Don't know if that's the answer, but we'll soon find out. That was on the drop again. Catchy, catchy. Just got railed. And I, um, I had big plans of putting some pillies down. And that's um, always a good thing to do, but if you are gonna try it, make sure you remember to bring your pillies. I bought all my mackerel baits, but um, no pilchards, and I could really use a pilly right about now, but oh well. Oh, double, double. Oh no. Double and we're off. Well, this is looking like a much better move. Oh, hit again. Yep, hook up. We got a double. I wonder if that's still on. Oh, maybe we don't have a double. The jig's just been nailed twice in the hold. I think it's off now. Well, I'm hoping this is a snapper and not a uh, little rat king or something like that, because he took off. Should be uh, pretty close to the surface here now. Oh, it's a cracker snapper. A cracker snapper! Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's a really nice one. What a belter. That's a real nice fish. Nice knob on his head. Good size. He can, uh, he can join the feed, I reckon. Real nice one. On the catchy. Catchy loves it. Loves it. Yes. Oh. No doubt about it. Rodney's definitely got top right of the day. Having a bit of a hook pull session on the old, um, on the jig rod. Feels like another nice snapper. Good head nods there. Obviously I'm not trying to bully him. Got small hooks here, so. 
just letting them do their thing. I wonder if this will work. It worked again. That last one I got was more than likely over 70. I'll have to put him on the measure. So if this one's over 70, he's gonna be going back. They must be in one of those moods. I've seen it before. It's really shy on the jigs, but um, I'll take that tiny little presentation. So, and good fish will take it too. And then some other days you'll get out here and the jigs won't even make it to the bottom. There'll be a school of very active fish and they'll just come flying up and, uh, and collect it sometimes 20, 30 meters off the bottom. And that's in 80 meters of water. So they're almost coming up half the, the, uh, the water column to come eat, eat a, uh, a jig. They're the good days because they literally eat it out of your hand, free spooling and you feel a dunk. But I suppose it, it shows the importance of having a uh, a few different options on board. I think if I was to be floating down a pilly today, I think I'd be doing quite well. But that would require less stuffing up on my behalf. He's a nice fish. He's coming up now. That had some good lunges there. Did hook another good fish just a bit earlier on the um, on the jig, but I reckon it would have taken the uh, the, the little trailer jig, the sweetener, <clears throat> just because pulled out. Second, I put a bit of pressure on there. Don't usually get that with the big jig hooks, the big assist hooks. I think there'd be a fair case to be made to um, jerry rig up some decent hooks on there. If you're going to do that style, oh yeah, should be getting some colour here. There's some colour. Get a look at him. It's a nice pinky. It's a nice pinky. Another really nice fish. He's bigger than that one beforehand. This is the one I got the drift before. Oh, he is 68 centimeters. Let's just check the size on this one. Tip, yeah, see he's 70, he's 70, 72 or so, 72, 73, so. That's our one over 70. No more big ones. Just panties, please. I'll tell you what, old Rod Rodney Rodholder and the Catchy are definitely pulling their weight today. It's a bit of a slow bite, pretty tentative. Um, not much action on the jigs. Anyway, we've got three in the esky now. That's probably enough for a feed. I'll say uh, a big thumbs up to a big pearly, but I reckon that's just about us for snapper. That is a, uh, a beautiful fish, really nice condition, just a stud, and as you saw, took a heap of line. They fight really, really well at this size. They're absolute pleasure to catch. Uh, stoked to have this guy on board. 73 centimetres and a little uh, bit of bar of trauma out the bum, but that's okay. Anyways, let's do another drift, see what else we can find down there. I need to redeem myself a bit here. I haven't caught a legal fish yet. Rodney's caught them all. I may have had a bit of a, a say in, in the lure that he's using, but he's still cleaning me up. I'm also very aware that when Rodney gets on a roll, sometimes the only thing to do is just get out of his way and let him do his magic. It's beauty about Rodney. He just chips away there. Sometimes, sometimes he comes home with the chockies.
Got him. On the drop. Just got eaten on the drop. Just gonna go light on this guy. Just so I don't have the same little uh, hook pulling episodes that we've had already. I don't know which which one he's hooked on, whether he's hooked on the, uh, the jig or the other one. I was saying before, they'll crack it. When they're on the chew, they'll crack it on the drop. That's exactly what just happened then. Free spool and free spool and feel a little dull thud. And then, a, oh, double hook up. Double hook up. We got a patch here, guys. We got a patch. Oh, that's exciting. That guy's just gonna have to um, entertain himself for a bit there. Might see if I can't get him up off the bottom a bit. Well, it's happened. You play with fire long enough, you're gonna get burned. We've got a double. With a bit of luck, as long as we don't attract any um, Nawas, we can have a look at this guy as well. Oh, he's a good fish. This is a jigging I know and love. It's been too long. The weather's been that up and down lately that windows to get offshore have been few and far between. Oh, I might have a um, little tangali here. Oh, guess which one it's on. How good. It's on the little... It's on the little presentation, the little sweetener. In. Calm down. Calm down, everyone. Calm down. Let's have a look at this guy. Now, I did only want three for a feed, but I think... This guy, he's got his bum coming out. So I think I might um, keep him and I'll give him to, to the Phantom. I'm sure he would appreciate him. What I might do though is uh, after this, go do something else after I land this one. Doesn't look like the Pearly's gonna play the game. Obviously got plenty of snapper for a feed. I might go uh, see if I can convert one of these baits that I, I so diligently bought instead of pilchards, see if I can't convert one of those into a Spanish. I am assuming this one is a, uh, a snapper, just by the way it was fighting, but I, if, it, if it wants to be a big pearly, then I'll cop that as well. This guy just feels a bit dead weighty at the moment, but to be fair to him, he did most of his fighting against a rod that was in a rod holder. What I might do is, um, Probably try and de-hook this guy in the water, if possible. Keep him in good nick. I reckon this will be another nice fish. Cracker quality today, they haven't been, haven't been going crazy. Well, I've had to work for them. It's, it's a long shot, but please be a pearly. Oh, I see a flash of red. It be a snapper dabba do. Ah, uh, he looks like he's in good health too, which is excellent. Let's get these hooks out. Come on, mate, open up, open up. Let's see you go straight back down. Get down there. Away he goes. How good is that? Whew. Good fun. Good fun. Now let's take a look at this guy. Oh, he's put a hole in my net. He's put a hole in my net. I dare say that'll come back to bite me at some stage. And there he is. Snap him number four. I mentioned he's got a bit of bar trauma out the bum there, so he's going to come home with us, but he is absolutely engulfed. That little I don't know what we're going to call it yet. Sweetener. Let's call it a sweetener. And that's hanging off the big jig. 
he would have seen that big jig cruise down that little tiny morsel trailing along behind it and gone yeah that'll do me thanks for coming not one snapper on the big jig and that says pretty well everything about this session they weren't switched onto the jigs at all but the small subtle presentations they were more than happy to uh, get around it four beautiful snapper I reckon it's time to do something else don't want to bother any more of them let's go see if we can get a mackerel well the mackerel baits are out uh, we're in the game just need to run over something fast and toothy now that's not a shark I'll probably give this about two hours it's 11 o'clock now so two good hours see if we can't raise one and uh, if not then we'll shoot back in before this uh, wind gets up the Savo I've had a pretty good day already this would just be the icing on the cake fingers crossed also gives me a chance to have some lunch so it's a win-win really Yes, fish on, fish on. Yes. We're on. The uh, yak has just taken off. Whew. That's awesome. Good run on it too. Still got the boat in gear here. Just going to try and get him up this side oh, this is exactly what we were hoping for a Spanish attack and we're about we're about oh, a couple of hours in or probably an hour and a half in so it's uh, definitely one we work for and uh, by no means in the boat now There he is. He's probably gonna go nuts in a second here. He's gonna see the boat and and go for a little run. There he is, bit of colour. That looks like a mackerel to me. Oh, he's only a really little one. There he is. Oh, stay away from that outboard, please. He's playing up. Oh, huh. we got him. Whew. Thank goodness for that. He's only a small mackie, but geez, he um made us work for it. Well guys, there's our persistence fish. I said I'd give it two hours. And we got this one at an hour 45. Only a little Spanish, about the meter mark. Good eating size. And uh, I reckon that'll do us for the day. We uh, haven't had too many other inquiries, or no other inquiries on the troll. And um, yeah, just snuck this one in. I don't need to push my luck anymore. Plenty for a feed. You ripper, let's get out of here. Now to catch that mackerel, I rigged up a, a dead bait. I had a whole yakka. He's come through and cleaned up the back section there. Luckily, I had a hook sitting right about here and just nabbed him on the back hook and then the other one came around and got him in the, uh, in the face. So, lucky, lucky. Only a small mackie, but better than no mackie. Anyways, time to get out of here. That was a cracking half day session on the water. Did have to work pretty hard for the fish, but the quality was definitely there. So four nice snapper and the lone Spanish. It does get me thinking though. I haven't caught my big Spanish for the year yet, so I think I'll have to go back out and troll some big baits away and see if we can't get stuck into a 20 plus kilo one off the local. They've got to be out there somewhere. I've got to find one. Um, now I'm going to give Tez two of these snapper, so he's got very lucky. Uh, and we filleted one up last week, so I might do the mackerel for something different. And uh, yeah, better get stuck into it.
container full of beautiful fillets and a rack to chuck on the barbecue. There's not much to dislike about the old Spanish mackerel. Yum, yum. Unfortunately, guys, that is all we've got time for this week. I really hope you enjoyed the episode. As always, if you'd like any more information on the fishing gear I used, head over to wilsonfishing.com. They've got all the details on that gear and stacks more to get you out there and into a few fish. Now, if you'd like to support the channel, head over to my website, samiitskifishing.com and grab yourself some merch. We've got hats, shirts, stickers, D-hookers, all sorts of cool stuff. And we've just been restocked with our deep drop rigs. Now is the perfect time of the year to get out wide and chase some deep water critters. And we've got you covered from 11 O's all the way through to 14 O's in both disco and UV rigs. So whatever critters you're chasing, we've got you sorted. Grab your deep drop rigs, they always sell out pretty quick. Guys, once again, thanks very much for watching. Hope you've been catching a few fish yourself and I'll catch you next week for another Sammy Insky Fishing Adventure. Cheers.